Well, welcome, Carrie. Thank this you. is our March podcast of Conversations from, from the Vault, and we're very excited to have you. And today we're going to talk about Elevate Her. Yay! So we're very excited about it. And um, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and, and why you're here talking to us about Elevate Her. <laughs> uh, why I'm here? Well, here's a couple <laughs> different things. So um, originally from Minnesota, as you know, um, Patrick and I had thought about moving for many, many years um, and didn't, things didn't happen. Mm-hmm. With that, for personal reasons and things that were going on in Minnesota with family, um, and suddenly the the doors opened, and we were moving from Minnesota to North Carolina, Raleigh area in three weeks, mm-hmm. and we just found Clayton had never been here before, so that's how we physically got here. Um, how, as you say, that you know, six months later, I marched, hopped, skipped. <laughs> my patootie in the door. Um, <laughs> it's like, okay, how can I help? What can I do? So uh, the company I work with is CBiz and um, I've been with them for eight years, was able to transfer over. Um, and we have a women's association. So mm-hmm. women's, our CBiz Women's Advantage is our program right. that we have. We have different things in Minneapolis that we're involved with. Uh, and when you mentioned that we're going to have this first ever Elevate Her conference, which did not have a name at the time. I was like, okay, this is something I could get involved with. Um, And so last year, (laughs) (laughs) bounced myself into being, you know, chair volunteer on the event committee. And for me, uh, if I'm not involved Mm -hmm. in something like volunteering being involved truly makes my heart happy yes um and you guys are just like this great wonderful team like I walked in I'm like okay these could be some of my people <laughs> um so anyway so getting involved with the chamber on that and then here learning about this woman's event that was coming and uh it just kind of evolved from there that I, I raised my hand and last year was wonderful and this year I think it's going to be even I do too. I do too. So, um, you know, as one of the things I love about this podcast is afforded me the opportunity to talk about some very important things that are either mm-hmm. going on in our community or things that this chamber is is doing. And um, so I do want to say that this podcast, um, Angelina Carew with Hometown Realty, she actually was the sponsor of last year's Elevate she Her um, Summit, and she's the sponsor of this podcast. So um, she uh, actually believed in this project that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and so um, she um, kind of spurred me on to, to get this done. So I'm very excited to have you here. Well, and I'm going to add, and don't clip, don't clip this part out, it's not <laughs> the idea, I think, that people... You know, the idea is great, but you have so many people that believe in you oh, that nice. I tear up all the time, <laughs> <laughs> that I think it's like you, you you think of something and people are like, let's do it. We'll figure it out. So okay. that well, speaks highly to you. my staff doesn't love me all this time. <laughs> my team is like, uh, no, we're not doing that. Have you lost your mind? Quit swimming in the pond. Don't do that. In the ocean, Miss Mermaid. Okay. So let's get into the meat of Elevate Her. Yeah. So, you know, you mentioned, um, ironically, that when you came in, you know, and I'm like, I want to do this Women's Empowerment Summit, and, well, I don't know what we're going to call it. And so I joke about the fact that um, when I was in the shower one day, uh-huh. I just decided, um, you know, and I, and I know that this term is out here and the, the title is out there, but I didn't know it at the time. So in my mind, I just thought of it all by myself. <laughs> Um, so we decided, to, so we decided, so I, I know what I want to, I want to call this. I want to call it the, the elevate her summit, mm-hmm. you know? And so I just thought I was so clever, but anyway, um, it, it stuck. And I think it's really good because, um, one of the things that I think this was born out of a personal need for mis- myself mm-hmm. to be empowered and motivated and inspired by women mm-hmm. who are leaders. And um, I think it's important as women at, that we surround ourselves with women who um, 
have a story to tell mm -hmm. and can inspire us to be better. Mm -hmm. And so that's sort of where I wanted to go with this, this summit. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the meat of this year's summit, which is April the 19th. And this year's sponsor is Clayton Women in Networking. Yes. And we're so excited to have them as our Most presenting definitely. sponsor. And so, uh, all right. So I also want to thank our committee members. So we have a great task force mm -hmm. that have, they've been instrumental in putting this together. So let's talk about our committee. Uh, yes, and I'm going to name names. So um, some of them have transitioned over from last year, which was really great. Um, and going back to last year, I just need to say how fun it was from like the conception mm -hmm. to coming up with the logo mm -hmm. and what the color scheme is going to look like. So, um, yeah, we'll just take part in it. You can, whatever. <laughs> that just makes me happy. Um, but the, the committee this year, the, the team that has transitioned over, uh, is Melissa Elling, Mel Mel <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Ellington, Melissa Overton, Hannah Smith, myself, mm -hmm. and I think that was it. That was part of it last Gosh. year. Mm -hmm. um, but now we have Kay Johnson. We have Amber Hill. We have um, Bonnie White. Mm -hmm. That is a part of it as well. Mm -hmm. And everyone brings, you know, strong women in their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And brings it's such a like diverse group, meaning diverse not only you know men, women, etc., but the experience that we have and that we're bringing it together. And so it's, it's, yeah, it's nice to also have the sponsor have a representative. Oh, and Don Kittner. Yes. Yeah, so Don is Dawn, sorry, that's Dawn. okay. Don has has joined us and and um, she brings an insight from the from the group. So that's a. Yes, that is definitely a plus. So it's, yeah, it's been fun, very strong. It's good to uh, bounce ideas off mm -hmm. each other. I mm -hmm. think that I have some good ideas sometimes. And <laughs> I realize I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just been great. And we're meeting, you know, every other week. Soon it will be weekly. Yeah. And we are just, everyone is really excited yeah. and really stepping up. So fun to collaborate on. A project like this. I agree. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about the day and let's talk about our speakers and mm -hmm. kind of how that evolved a little bit. Uh, so do you want to talk about the day first or you want to let's talk about the speakers and the topics and whatnot? Let's right. talk about let's talk about the speakers. Okay. All right. So this was a sort of an evolution in itself and, and how these speakers came to be. So our first speaker is Nikki Body, mm -hmm. And I happen to be fortunate to uh, go to uh, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base right. and tour. And we got to uh, board the um, plane that flies to fuel the C-17s mm -hmm. while they're up in the air. Well, that concept crazy. to me is just crazy <laughs> in itself, right? So we get to go into the, the cockpit, and lo and behold, sitting in the pilot seat is this young lady who is an American airline pilot, and she also flies hmm. in the reserves. And I was just floored. And um, so we invited her to come speak to our Rotary Club. Well, I was just amazed by her just mere presence and the fact that she was a, a young airline pilot, mm -hmm. which I think is just fabulous. In I can't itself, even imagine. Yeah. And then when she came and shared her story about making her dream come true to our Rotary Club, I thought, wow, this girl needs to come and talk to our um, Elevate Her mm -hmm. ladies. Mm -hmm. And so she agreed. So very excited mm -hmm. to have her as part of um, Elevate Her as our opening speaker. And that she's right here mm -hmm. is is wonderful. Yes. But how many of us, like as a little girl or a teenage girl, it's like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. I wish mm -hmm. I could do that. Mm -hmm. And we talk ourselves out of it. Yep. And, or we have this motivation, we want to get 
um, people behind us mm -hmm. and we're up here and then someone's like, well, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. And then you immediately hit the ground and like all your dreams, yes, your hopes and everything. So we listen to all these, away. the internal voices yep. and the external voices telling us what we can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. And this young lady didn't listen. No, it's, I'm excited just how I didn't meet her. I haven't heard her. Um, and I've seen videos of everyone, but to hear them in person, mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited about because yeah. we all can relate. Uh, granted, I'm never going to think I'm the super person putting gas in my car anymore. <laughs> no, because you are nothing compared to just this way. No, no, no. <laughs> um, but just, I'm just excited because it's, you know, you feel even, you know, I'm 50 some years old and you. I, I still have hopes. I still yeah, have dreams. It's never too late, right? Um, and just that little extra motivation. And hear it from someone else yeah. that did it. Yeah. I'm excited. So that's the inspiring part right there. Yeah. Right? Yep. So, and talking about dreams. Exactly. So she's our dream. Chasing component. your dreams. Yep. And so once we got that topic, um, I had heard um, Juanita McDowell mm -hmm. speak um, to us at a chamber conference. And she was so funny and warm and engaging. And so, you know, having a dream is having a dream. But what do you do with it? Mm. What's your next step? Right. So um, Juanita is going to talk to us about goal setting. And um, she has some really uh, fun and practical takeaways for us and how we set not only our goals professionally, but our goals personally, mm -hmm. um, because I think we kind of forget that, you know, you need to have some personal goals and mm -hmm. you need to find your purpose. And that helps you set your goals in your business and everything else that you're doing in your volunteer life or whatever. So, um, so it's very exciting that she's going to be with us and joining us. So, Well, and I think as women, especially, obviously this happens with men too, um, but more so women, that we're the caregivers, we're the nurturers, that we're wanting to make everyone else happy. Right. And we are put, you know, the yeah. low man uh, to get, you know, we're the last thing. Sure. And last one that t gets our own priority yeah. and gets things done. So, um, yeah, she's very funny. Uh, she's very matter of fact. Yes, she like, is. It's, it, and she does it. In her delivery is so wonderful that you're like, oh my gosh, I do that all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop with the excuses. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So excited to have Juanita join us. So you know, we have our dreams and we mm -hmm. set our goals yeah. and we're on a roll, and then all of a sudden, bam! All that fear yep. and all that doubt settles in. I know it does for me. Um, and since it's a topic. Uh, I feel like that it's um, it happens to all of us at one time or another in our life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we have that that self doubt mm -hmm. and we let fear keep us from chasing our dreams and fulfilling our goals. So I'm real excited about our panel. So you want to talk a little bit about our panel? I I do. Awesome. <laughs> so it's going to be moderated by Melissa Overton, mm -hmm. and Melissa was one of the speakers last year, yes. and. Um, just had us all in stitches and um, she is good. She's, you can relate to her. Um, she sometimes says the things that you're thinking that you wish you could say. Exactly. So, <laughs> so that's a good thing. And she's exactly. become a, a good friend of mine and ours. And um, so on the panel itself, everyone's going to be local. Yes. So we have Amber Hill, we have Kay Johnson and we have Bernice Lopez. Yes. And they all bring something a little different. I don't want to give away all the details, um, so well, they all have a story. They all have a story. How they got to be where they are today. Yeah, yeah. And we can all relate to it. Um, it's another diverse, I think, group as far as age goes. Um, mm -hmm. definitely different race, mm -hmm. which I think is good because, mm -hmm. you know, we can get so caught in our own little bubbles and our own little issues yeah. that we don't maybe put ourselves in other people's shoes. Mm -hmm. Um, and then... You know, the situation with, um, I'm, I'm trying not to get, you know, being a female in a man's, mm -hmm. in a men's dominated workplace. 
Correct. Um, is also something. Um, but it also made me reflect a little bit with, and I'm not sure, you know, we've talked about it probably on the side, um, with my daughter. So my daughter, tears, yeah. um, love her to death. She's 21. Um, and she has struggled with severe anxiety, mm-hmm. some depression throughout the years. And, you know, I have felt things, but I kind of have been over able to overcome them yeah. um, to a certain degree. Always self-doubt keeps coming back into the fold. But when you look at your daughter mm-hmm. or you look at your son and you yes. see them in pain. Yeah. Um, it's a different perspective. It, it, different mm-hmm. perspective. And, um, you know, just to kind of hear from someone not the same age as her, but son, you know, mm-hmm. kind of close to it who isn't related to me kind of gives me new perspective on, on conversations I can have for her because we're, or with her, because we're in a different relationship as she grows up. It's yeah. not more, it's still mother daughter, but more also friendship growing and, yeah. and creating. So I know a little bit, but I'm excited to hear a little bit more yeah, um, and see how I can help not only myself, mm-hmm. but others, including my daughter that um, I can help. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I'm very excited about this panel. Um, You know, and I I think that each person that is participating in this panel will bring something that someone can relate to. Mm -hmm. Um, And maybe you can relate to every single one of them. I I know that I can. Um, And and they're going to be very vulnerable. Yes. Um, So we had some interviews to begin with, and there were tears shed in in the interview process um, to come up with, you know, the three panelists here. But I mean, the, in, yeah. I mean, it's I I, I love this stuff. I know. Well, you know, <laughs> you brought it. up a very a very important word. I think is vulnerability. Mm-hmm. And I think as women, sometimes it's difficult for us to show our vulnerability because we feel like we have to be so strong mm-hmm. and we have to be um, uh, the. You know, I, I can't let anybody know that I'm weak mm-hmm. or I'm, I'm struggling. And, um, you know, s- sometimes you just got to. Right. And it it makes you, I speak for myself. Sometimes I feel like that if I show vulnerability, that vulnerability equals weakness. And that is not no. it at all. No. And so we kind of have to change our mindset of, you know, there's a reason to be vulnerable. It doesn't mean you're weak. It's a strength to yeah. be able to admit that. So very excited to hear about it. Yeah. That. And you have, um, you know, not just learning from their story, but like you said, from what they're sharing. Yes. Um, and we have a saying at our house that it's like, if you're not sharing your story, you're holding up the line. There's someone yeah. out there exactly. that needs, needs to, to hear it. The March sponsor for Conversations at the Vault is Love and Lux LLC. Are you having an event soon? Do you love beautiful balloon decor? If so, contact Love and Lux LLC for your next event. They provide awesome balloon decor from garlands, columns, bouquets, backdrops, walls, and so much more. Let Love and Lux create your next balloon experience. Contact them at 919-588-1499 or check them out on social media, Facebook, Love and Lux LLC, and Instagram, Love and Lux NC. Yep. Yeah. So. so awesome. Yeah. All right. So um, during the panel discussion, mm-hmm. um, just to talk a little bit about the day, We'll be breaking up in two sessions Correct. for for lunch. So, um, uh, the group that was is hearing the panel uh, will be in the auditorium, and then the other group will be having lunch, and then we'll switch mm-hmm. vice versa. So everybody gets to hear the panel. It's very exciting and, and enjoy eat some good and food. eat some good food. <laughs> and eat some good food. Yes, yes. All right, and then um, we're going to have a little bit of networking um, in between mm-hmm. um, lunch and the next speaker, which is Sonia Aranza. Yes. So very excited to have her with us. 
Um, Sonia is actually a friend of Melissa Overton. She, she is. Um, in fact, uh, Sonia's been to Johnston County before and has, has spoken to um, a group of women. And um, shocker, Melissa befriended her. There's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Say it ain't so. I know, I know. <laughs> so, um, you know, Sonia is an international mm-hmm. speaker and has spoken to um, – McDonald's Corporation, yes. Coca-Cola, some really big names out there. That uh, everyone knows. Yes, yes. And we got her. I know. And she's coming to Joko. <laughs> Clayton. So we're very excited. And so she's going to be talking about self-leadership. Mm-hmm. Um, so three insights to unleash. And I'm going to read this so I don't mess it up. Mm-hmm. Three insights to unleash your... Um, Greatness, mm-hmm. confront bias, yep. and expand your impact. Yep. So we've talked about dreams. We've s- talked about how to set some personal and professional goals. We've talked about how we can overcome some fear and doubt that we have in our life. And now we're going to talk about how can we become a self-leader. Right. How do we lead ourselves to greatness and to gain some insight, to build a diverse network, um, and just how to make yourself better. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. It, and like I said, it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> and, and I'm like, what's next? Well, the VIP, but we'll get to that yeah, in a minute. But it is, and you know, I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to I'm going to say something. So, a few months back, I went to an event uh through the Bankers Asso- North Carolina Bankers Association and one of the speakers spoke was talking on unconscious bias. Yeah. I'm like I I have no. I, I don't do that. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, we all I think we all judge um but not that you're that's a whole other thing. I, I, I don't think it's something that I would ever label myself is that I would look at someone and go, okay, here's the unconscious yeah, bias. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I say that about myself too, but. But, and yeah. she gave she gave an example, and I probably would have been in the audience thinking the same thing. So she said she spoke at an event, and it was three men and her, and the men had all had suits on and tennis shoes, and she had on her suit and tennis shoes, all of them nice tennis shoes, and they only critiqued her. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is something that I need to, because I'm like, I probably would have been, why is why is she not why wearing, she got her tennis why does she have her tennis shoes yeah. on? And that's just a silly example. But listening to Sonia's different examples, like I said, not going to give too much away, um, on her personal journey yes. because um, of her ethnic- ethnicity growing up, um, having that yes, diversity. What was it, the tape yeah, on her eyes? Yeah. Um, she is Asian descent, and sh- she tells a story how she went to school. Yeah. And she wanted to be like the white girls yeah. in school. So it was her and her sister. Just her taping their eyes up. So Taped their eyes open different. so they were more yeah. round and they weren't different. Yeah. And we were listening to that upstairs. Yes. And I'm like, I have to, I need a Kleenex. I need a surprise. I was tearing. <laughs> but you just, you know, you look at someone from the outside and you think that, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. But what is that self-doubt that they have? They have on, on the inside. Yeah. Um, and we all have it. We do all have it. And yes, we, ma'am. And it constantly comes up. So that self-leadership that mm-hmm. that she's going to talk about, mm-hmm. it, it's it's just a good thing. to. It does. It's like that bow on the top that is wrapping everything. You know, I, I think a lot about that, you know, when I think of people telling stories such as um, – you know, about her sister. And and I think about things that have been said to me in my lifetime, especially when I was younger, that sort of form your confidence Mm -hmm. or take away from the confidence that you have. 
Um, and those things stick with you. They're oh, in yes. the back of your mind. Still. And you, it still comes up and you still think about what the girl in the seventh grade said to you that made you feel bad mm -hmm. or um, how mean somebody was to you or, or that's, that stuff comes up and it affects how you, how you behave or things that trigger you. And so I'm very excited to hear about what she has to say about that. Oh yeah. I could go into, yeah, oh, yes, into I, some stories yes. that I know from, yeah, yeah. that I'm holding on to yeah. a couple years later. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, this is hard. It's it's difficult. But Let go. Yeah. Don't give me a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carrie. Oh okay, Carrie. <laughs> oh gosh. All oh, right. Yeah. So so after Sonia enlightened yes. us um, on how we can be great. Then what are we going to do? We're going to have some fun. Okay. We are just Tell gonna, us about all the fun. <laughs> we are just going to hang out um, and get to know each other better. Yeah. Um, last year, not only during the VIP last year, which is um, like an hour and a half, two hours after the actual event, but during lunch. Mm -hmm. So I sat at a table um, with this wonderful person, for, and I don't want to name names because she didn't give me permission, from uh, Johnson Community College. Never met her before. Mm -hmm. And we dug into, like, we just sat there and opened our hearts yeah. and shared things with each other that probably some of my closest friends back in Minnesota and Wisconsin don't know right. about me or I don't bring up because it's those insecurities yeah. that you don't want to keep resurfacing. Exactly. Um, so it's, expect that number one, uh, but the, the, the VIP is just, you know, there's some wine, going to be some wine there, yeah. uh, snacks. Oh my gosh. Went there yesterday. Yeah. Mm, good that's stuff. good stuff. Uh, she is going to be, uh, catering the, a little uh, cheese and cracker mm -hmm. display fabulousness. Yes. Um, but just some great energy. Yeah. And then our speakers will be there so we can. Network and a little meet and you can greet. do some one on one and yeah. get to know them and I think a few of them are bringing some some books that, or that's literature. That's what I was going to ask. And, yeah, is, I think so. And that I wasn't. Yeah. How do I not know that? Are yeah. they bringing books? To, I don't know. Oh, well, that's a question Maybe we got. They ask. should. I think they should too. <laughs> Hashtag bring books. That's right. <laughs> Promote yourself. <laughs> that's right. Just do it. Yes, just do it. But um, so to your point, so last year, I'll have to say, you know, I was on stage getting ready for the transition so moving on. So I didn't really get to be out in amongst all the, the attendees, mm -hmm. um, unfortunately. But I will say this, that, you know, hearing the, the laughter and hearing um, the energy mm -hmm. when um, the group's re-entered the auditorium every time to hear the next speaker was was invigorating to me yep. and um so just the feeling that everybody left with um i heard over and over again that they were excited and energized and, and motivated motivated and felt good and it was just just a feel-good event yeah so um well, I'm, I'm so excited that you were able to join us. Well, is there anything you want to say? There is. Like the most important okay. thing that I just remembered. Okay. So we have the dream, the, let me make sure I get this, the dream, the goal setting, the self-leadership, the wonderful uh, panel on self-doubt, et cetera. But we have entitled, we came up with a title. Yes, we did. For Elevate Her. Well, not we, but you oh, it kind of was me <laughs> <laughs> i guess i do have good ideas <laughs> so it is called we came up with, the, with act and yes. um actually jennifer ellington yes, came up did. with that that was like she was passionate about that word and so we're coming up with a like a theme yeah acronym for yeah what does that mean yeah so it is act so acknowledge mm -hmm. because you can't start fixing anything until you acknowledge what the heck is going that on. That's true. Cultivate. Mm -hmm. So you're going to try to work on that stuff yeah. that you've acknowledged you have going on. Right. 
And then triumph means, you know what? We are coming out of this victorious. And that's what the VIP is going to be, too. I think that that's our triumphant moment yeah. of the day. Um, but know that this act, it's you're not going to get to triumph and then be done. And like, I'm exactly. done. I'm perfect. I'm moving on. Because something is going to come up in your life mm -hmm. that you're going to have to acknowledge it again. Yes. And that is what we're hoping this day is going to give you the inspiration, the motivation, the tools mm -hmm. to act. Yes. Um, and I'll, I, I, you know, what I like to say is I, I, every day I just want to be a better version of myself. It's a so great, that's what we can do. Great way to, to end. So if I were out there listening to us and I said, hey, I have got to be there, which everybody should be here. Where do they go to register? Now we have early bird. We have the early bird. Ends what? Next Friday. I know. March 31st. Yeah. So, so $149 is the early bird price. The VIP is just standard at $35. Right. Uh, that will sell out. Well, actually, both of them will sell out. Yes, because there's the, only limited amount of tickets for VIP, for sure, right? Limited for both. For both. Okay. So we have a cap. We're over here at the Clayton Center, and we have a cap on the amount of people just because of how many people we can serve for, for food. For lunch, yeah. Um, yes, for lunch. So the VIP is capped at 150. We sold out like that last year. Um, so don't forget to get your VIP. Don't wait. And don't wait on the, um, on the actual ticket itself because the price is going to go up. You can still get it, but last year we sold out. Yeah. So we weren't able to offer tickets after, right. you know, there so are some coming in towards the end. But don't wait. No, yeah. So it's one forty nine until the thirty first. One, yeah. And then it's thirty five dollars for the VIP reception. Correct. Perfect. Perfect. And where can we get tick? Where can they get tickets? And I should mention that for um, chamber. Oh my gosh! Why can't I think of the name? Investors. Investors. Chamber investors is, is discounted is is the discounted yes. price. Yes. So if you are not a chamber investor, check us out because we're a lot of fun. Yeah, we are. Lots to get involved with in the community, um, but your ticket is going to be a little bit more. Yeah. Um, for that, and the VIP is the same for everyone. Right. Right. So they can go to ClaytonChamber.com. Yes. And then click on Elevate Her and purchase tickets. We're also on Facebook. On Facebook, um, the link is everywhere. Yeah, the, it's everywhere. So. And there's QR codes, there's links. Um, if you can't find it, just reach out. We'll help you out. Yeah. ClaytonChamber.com. www. That's right. The <laughs> World Wide Web, right? We were joking about that yesterday. So, well, I just want to say from my perspective, thank you for um, leading this task force for the it's second year in, in a row. And, um, you bring so much to the table and so much energy, and um, I really appreciate you. And um, so here's a wrap for the March Conversations from the Bob, right? Woo, there we go. Cheers. <laughs> With our water. That's right. <laughs> Thank you.